know why I grabbed that one. <laughs> oh, give me two. I, I just know how you are. <laughs> 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 Literally, I, I I know how this works. <laughs> I will drink one, and you will drink two or three, and it's it's gonna be okay. I was really, confused. I'm like, I'm like, why? What are you doing? Are we recording now? Yeah, you know, I I started it before I went to the bathroom. Oh really? <laughs> That's weird. I wasn't doing anything. I was just doing it. <laughs> I thought. <clears throat> <laughs> you look fucking bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um. So we're back. We're back. That's how we're gonna open that one. All right. Perfect. Just you going. <laughs> First visitor. Let's see who it is. We kept them waiting for so long. <clears throat> Sorry. I don't know what's happening today. <laughs> Walk over to the door, nope. and just as I suspected, it's some big fat hermaphrodite with a flock of seagulls haircut and only one nostril. <laughs> handsome, handsome, clean cut <laughs> man. Yeah. Whoa. And Vanishing. Got... Oh, cookie. He might be the winner winner chicken dinner, to be honest. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's like, the guy's gonna be like, Hi, not you! <laughs> <laughs> Show his face in the cookies. What do we have here, sweetie? <laughs> oh, where are my manners? My name's Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, I'm gonna fail you up. It's in my name. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Phil. That's my name. That's what my name is. <laughs> they call me Han. They call me Stacy. That's not my name. That's not it's my Phil. Name. That's not my name. <laughs> I saw the moving van and I thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Let me see how good looking your daughter looks. Joseph leans in and whispers. But between you and me, she just sprinkled the chocolate chips. She just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. She sprinkled on the chocolate chips. Same fucking little injector word. It doesn't matter. No, because on means on top of, and means inside of. Sprinkled the means it, it. there's chocolate chips. There's not even a the in the sentence. <laughs> right there! Oh. <laughs> Oops. But you're right, my bad. We both share a laugh. Kids, right? You can tell he's definitely gay. <laughs> oh, it's a platypus. Oh, I thought it was a dill... Duck. <laughs> a dill duck. <laughs> dill weed. <laughs> wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Well, thanks for the cookies. Oh. What? Peace. You don't Peace. steal my cookies like that. Bitch. Amanda, come, come mm -mm, She's gone. That's, That's my, my daughter. daughter. Charmer. Oh. What? Daughters are tough. Mm. Sons are also tough. Oh, you have both. Children in general are just tough. You gotta, you gotta loosen them up a little bit. Yep. She's gotta insert some kind of horrible sexual joke here. I have four kids. Now nah, you're, you're out of the picture now. Mm. What have you done? Oh. Uh, I meant... Oh. Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already in a tailspin. Wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh. Is the missus around? Mister, actually. And er... No, not anymore. He died. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, now he's being I'm rude. sorry for your loss. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's all, all right. right. You didn't mean to be rude. Wow, that's, this is uncomfortable. That's what I would have said. <laughs> you would have been like, eh, you brought me cookies, it's all good. Yeah, right? Yeah, and food. Mm. Sorry. Can you close the door real quick? Oh, we're getting right into it. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. <laughs> Throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love to come meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? Oh. <laughs> that sounds great. My daughter, man, and I would love to stop by. He just looked. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands and seal the deal. You see, ladies, take notes. This is how men talk. <laughs> we get over shit. <laughs> We're just like, whatever. 
3 p.m. sharp yeah. on Saturday. Uh, sure thing, neighbor. Starts to walk away, but stops for a second and turns around. Uh, hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy if you ever need to. Talk about stuff. I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Yeah. You look pretty young to me. That suits yourself. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me, Joseph? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> that was the perfect time. You're so fucking proud of yourself. <laughs> that was the perfect opportunity <laughs> for that to happen. God, <laughs> he seemed nice. Amanda walks back <laughs> into the living room. Come crumbs on her face. <laughs> uh, uh, crumbs on her face. Cookies in seems hand. so yellow now. <laughs> that was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. Uh, See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? They're gone. I'm sorry. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? Guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Wait. Move the camera up to the corner though. For a second. Maybe that way. We don't need to see the little the little um Yeah, you're right. That way we can see more of the other person's face when there's like, multiple conversations going on. Oh my god, I'm like crying. <sighs> <laughs> that was so fucking good. Yeah. I I was gonna try to use that bit again, but I don't know if it'll work again. I think we're gonna leave that a one time deal. I could use some coffee, or Joseph probably wants his plate back. Oh, I thought I said Jesus probably wants his plate back. <laughs> um, I could use some coffee. We'll give him his plate back tomorrow or Saturday. No need to seem desperate, Phil. Right, Phil. You don't need to fill him. Fill her him up. You can fill up all her to his art. Hmm? I'm proud of you. Amanda's proud of us. Peter Weller didn't really. Piper. Peck, 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 peppers. Pickled peppers. We walked down the street to the coffee spoon. A cute little place on the corner. Man, this is such convenient walking distance from our place. Well, I mean, I guess. What's wrong? What's wrong? Uh, uh, wow, I. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Let's go. All right. Can just drink coffee on my own couch. Make no eye contact with other people. That's the gist of what that paragraph said. I didn't read it. At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't gonna come up and sit next to the, sit on the recliner next to me, and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he very much within my personal, personal zone. <laughs> As if you have any problem with personal zones. You look like the way you look. You like. don't have no personal zone. And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you just sit it on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there? Huh. This is too much. Face flush with hot shame. And now, just on sight, you're that jerk who left their mug. Uh, Dad. Man. Just afraid to meet new people. Yes, Amanda. Duh. We walk inside. Hey. Oh. Hey. We you know what they say. Once you go black. What what happens? Well, then, you know, most more often than not, 
once you have a, an encounter, a sexual encounter with a male or female of the black culture, you tend to not want to regress back to not that your previous cultures and sexual experiences. Also, black people have big dicks. That's what they say. Yeah. I've heard that. I don't know if that's scientific fact, but I've heard that. I, I lived with two black roommates. You say so you were part of the D club? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, no. I was not swinging what they were swinging. <laughs> right. That's that's a tough. That's a tough tall, crowd. That's a tall order. Oh, ooh. all right. That's like a that's a fucking venti at Starbucks. I think that means large for normal people. That's a grande. Oh. That was a grande. Welcome to the coffee spoon. That's How's a it lot going? of black dicks in <laughs> my lifetime. <laughs> I was waiting for it to go. <laughs> it's okay. We're allowed to talk about dicks. We're playing this psychological horror about da dads. I don't know. What's with the name? Oh, oh, oh it's, it's uh, a, it's kind of dumb. It's mentioned. I thought it was a real good idea at the time. Supposed to be a good idea, but like the business is still running. Hmm. We'll ask him that question all the time, and I give him the answer every time. And now I'm just standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're getting more and more uncomfortable. And the more we get to talking about man, we're now and now I can't stop. Ellipses. 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 So what will it be? Scan the chalkboard and I'm immediately overwhelmed. Yeah. Uh, I'll have a... Give me a... No, you know, we're in front of our daughter. We can't be a horny muskrat all the time. We're in front of our daughter, all right? We gotta compose ourselves. Chai hit one? Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Spicy! Oh, he likes it. Ooh. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Diane with a South African rap group. And they're pretty well known for their, uh... Oh. Vocative imagery. And so, centralized music look at that. Was... Subconsciously, we chose the flirty option without being... <laughs> what the fuck? I'm doing the thing again. <sighs> but coming right up. I have a problem. And for you, I'll have the Macchiato DeMarco. Yeah. Oh. That's a name. Small, medium, or Biggie Smalls. <laughs> I like it. Wait, is Biggie Smalls big or small? It's, it's big. I should change that, shouldn't I? No, no, you should keep it. No, you should keep it. It's absolutely hilarious. Because Biggie Smalls is giant. Yeah. I love Biggie. Biggie, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. I don't know how much more I can say without getting hit with copy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's admit, let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you'll listen to anyway. Well, Biggie Smalls not a band. He's a, a one person. Right. Hey! So, how about you get that right? Ska now? was cool once. That explains everything about this Everything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe more comfortable than our couch. I'm glad our character, right. the story is fitting into our character's looks. Yes. We nailed it. Oh, we did. We did. We did. I, I can't speak anymore. <laughs> this place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. I kind of like him, yeah. You should totally become friends and with him. And he has him. tattoos, and that's something I have in common with him. Uh, the she... Oh, wait, yeah. I forgot that word totally <laughs> gay from the beginning. <laughs> She's like... <laughs> it was like <laughs> yeah, we she, are very gay from the beginning. Does she know that we're gay? And I was like, wait. We literally said in the very beginning of this, your father and I... <laughs> literally, there was a moment... Where, because Kate's played some of this game while I've been like doing something else or mm -hmm. hanging out or working on some other things she's just been playing. Because I bought this because she wanted to play it. Yeah. And uh, she got to a point in the story where she's just like, Do they all have kids? This and the, I was like, Yeah, that's the point. Yeah, they're all dads. <laughs> like, that's that's I the hate point. Kids. Yeah, you can't be a dad without the kid I mean, part. You could. Well, I mean, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes you're a dad. Can't meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. <laughs> Matt sets our drinks on the table oh, and I immediately cool burn so the far. roof of my mouth. Good one. Ha. We're new in the neighborhood. Oh, man, and this is my dad, Phil. Rup. 
Oh, right on. Please meet you both. Hey. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Manny kicks my leg under the table. Sure, we'll be in here a lot. <laughs> <laughs> let, me get you guys, let me get your guys' opinions on something. Matt goes to the back, comes up with fresh plate, something that smells amazing. Oh, God, I'm getting... Working on a new banana... Banana bread! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so sorry. He needs help coming up with a name for it. If anyone ever meets me and you want to give me something, fucking banana bread is like. Pax East 2018. Woo -woo. Banana bread. <laughs> whoop whoop. I think we're going to have a taste test at first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, the really appreciate the flavor of sensations of. Manda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that Nana bread a taste. Oh, did I tell you? Yeah. Um, that I think I'm going to... <clears throat> Wait, are we doing a choice yet? No, he was just going to give us free banana bread. Fuck yes! <laughs> this wait, guy is out. No, my favorite. conversation can wait. All right. I fucking love banana bread. Oh, I thought we were going to wait on the banana bread. No, no. No, we can't wait on banana no, bread. No, no. Right, yes, that. Matt serves us each oh, a piece. Matt and serve me a piece. Oh, serve us the banana bread, Matt. Oh. Oh. We're probably going to choose Matt because of the banana bread. This is amazing. Okay. Thanks. Ow. Secret and ingredient shit. is bananas. Well, I would have never guessed. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think it might only give you, only be able to give you bat, dad, dad band, band puns, puns. But I'll give it a shot. What, is, what do they got? Banana bread Kennedy's grateful banana bread. Right said banana bread. I kind of like the grateful bread with the banana, because I don't know the dead Kennedys. It's Dead Kennedy's Grateful Dead. Yeah, and, Grateful Dead. And, and I don't know the other one. I never listened to Dead Kennedy's. I used to listen to Grateful Dead. I kind of like Grateful Bread. But, but you know what? I don't know. They're all kind of shitty, actually. I mean, <laughs> like, because, like, if it was just a bread, right? If you would have made your own, like, special bread and it was Bread Kennedy's or Grateful Bread, that'd be pretty funny. Because. Right. Yeah, but, but the banana at the extra layer that's not funny anymore. Or he know. wants to give the banana, he wants to give the bread an extra layer of banana. Oh, why? <laughs> oh, he didn't like that. What? Oh. Hey. Wait, why would he, why did all that black stuff pop up around him? I don't know. I don't. What do these signs mean? I, I, the, the, ah. <clears throat> Sounds is there, cool. Is there like a like a thing that gives you like a? Let's keep on going. I'm gonna look hey. it up. Hey. What's this game called again? Daddy Dream, please. Dream. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Dream, please. Dream. Daddy. Daddy. A dad dating simulator. Um. Yeah, we got it. I mean, Daddy, a dad uh, psychological horror simulator. Inter. Thanks, baby. See, it sounds good when you say it. Across the map. What the fuck? Ooh. What would you call that? Like when the uh, uh, reaction to a to a, a, a reaction to a response? Let me say symbols. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself. Brooding. Emoji meanings. Yes, yeah. that might be it. Brooding over a cup of coffee, our eyes meet just for a moment. Okay, so hearts are good. Black spores are bad. What do the eggplants and water drop mean? I don't know about the music, but normally eggplants and water drops together are sexual. Ugh. So we made him happy, and then we made him sad, because he doesn't like Grateful Dead. Which I guess makes sense. He was talking about, like, Biggie Smalls, and... But it just shows that... Wait, who the fuck is that scary, dude? That's the guy that's brooding over a cup of coffee. We met eyes. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? Finish our drinks and head out. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Let's face it. <laughs> I need a nap. Just had coffee. Have you ever known me to play by the rules? Follow the rebel, sweetie. Uh, uh, now all aboard the train to sleepy uh, time uh, junction. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Sorry. 
I'm also very sober right now. <laughs> oh, don't tell me it's fucking Count Dracula. Phil! Bro! Is that, who, is that Matt? Bro. Greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Familiar? How do we know him? Is he an old friend? Craig? Craig? Bro! Oh. Bro! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Bro! Bro. Oh. Holy wow. wow. I haven't seen Craig in like forever. Bro! Oh. It's been too long, dude! Yeah! yeah. Wow! You look great! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? Ripped! Ripped. Yeah. Man, this is my friend, friend Craig. Craig. We went to college. We were roommates. We fell each other's dicks. D Club. Dick. Amanda, dude! You probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Cute <laughs> baby. Oh, oh, thank you. Last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around! Oh, his wrist. I thought he said waist. I thought he was like, <laughs> Say hi! <laughs> Whipping the baby around. Like it's a fucking. Giggles a happily. Are you babysitting? <laughs> no, dude! River's my kid! Man! Has been love! Feels like, man, we're rolling up to exam bad hangovers! Now we're both dads, bruh! I've been working out in California, and I just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding! Don't get that confused with Michael Bay. Explosion! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Man, and I just moved to this side of town. How smashly! I mean, Ashley. <laughs> Her name's Ashley. She's actually still going by Smashly, and we got divorced last year because she took that name a little bit too seriously. seriously. And oh, she was, dude, I'm sorry about Smashly. Yeah, you know, I should have thought she was a whore when her favorite subject was Smash. <laughs> Smash. Get it? Is that a meth? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. It's, it's old, old news. news. We take turns, River and the Twins, it's all... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that word. Copacetic! Copacetic! I think that's how you say it. Copacetic, <laughs> bruh. Twins! Twi bruh! Three! Bruh! <laughs> <laughs> Please don't spit beer all over my computer. <laughs> college nickname that he just took way too seriously. <laughs> oh, Cake Stan Craig. <sighs> oh, oh. oh yeah, that's my old college nickname. It's like your dad was fill her up because he filled up all the chicks. He got because he did a lot of keg stands, bro. I wish we made him not gay in college <laughs> now. <laughs> Is that the thing where you do a handstand on a Oh, it's the thing! We, I was like, how do you not know what it is in your We do a handstand on a keg and then drink from it! Right. Uh, He's good! <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of, like, my daily jog. And I really gotta keep up my heart rate, you know? Like, thump, thump. River along for, you know, some, like, resistance training. 
You jog daily, bruh? I jog never. <laughs> <laughs> On January 1st, when I promised myself I'm gonna jog daily for the rest of the year, I give up 30 <laughs> minutes and just walk home, bruh. Well, it's never too late to get to it, dude! You should join me sometime. We can do other cardiovascular activities. Ha ha ha! Bruh! Hey! Come on, we can even get breakfast at Catch Up. We can do Bro Brunch, bro! Bro! Good old days, Bro Bro Brunch! Bro, alright, bro! Sounds bro! <laughs> oh. Great, let's get going, Sam. I gotta get moving, I'm gonna see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, push, puts his ears back, earbuds back in, jogs oh. off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Why is that? Why Why are you just talking like that? What What the fuck just happened to you? <sighs> the Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched <laughs> him drink an entire jar of marinara right. sauce for dinner. <laughs> Did I tell you the time in college? I had a jar of sauce, and I when I... Like turned the, the lid off. Yeah. It broke and glass went inside all the jar. And my my response was, "That's my last <laughs> jar of sauce." So I cooked it anyway, and I hope the guy I didn't swallow any glass. <laughs> Legitly, I called my mom. I'm like, "Mom, what do I do? The jar broke. Yeah. The glass went." And then she goes, "Don't eat it." And I was like, "But it's my I don't, last." I'm like, but I don't have any other sauce. I just like go out. I'm like, I don't, I don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh, yeah. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy, and then I asked him what the <laughs> hell he was doing. And I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. Is it <laughs> tomato sauce? Technically, it's not wrong. Yeah, I just said. <laughs> he jogs. He was jogging. He's like a totally different person. Bruh. Plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. The worst part is, I still act like it. I'm 25. I'm not even in college anymore. 26. And <laughs> like, <laughs> Too bad we're going to be putting my stuff right back in these boxes in a few months. No, you're probably right. We're going to fuck this mm -hmm. up somehow. She's going to college. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. It's just, you're my little girl. Yeah. Come visit. And text you. Lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photographer. Maybe. Oh, wow. Promise? I read that wrong. Oh. I read pornography made. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, like, she might turn into that. We don't know. I was like, damn. Interesting choice. Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll just get a dog or something. A dog? Forget art school. Stay home for the dog. You should forget art school. It's a waste of money. Mm. <laughs> Medium-sized dog, handkerchief around the neck, and I'll, oh. I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. So you want Phil. I mean, Brian. No, no it's just the dog. Brian's Maxwell. dog, though, yeah. Maxwell. That what it was? The dog's name is Maxwell. I did not pay attention to that part. Our name is Phil. Yeah, Why no. would the dog's name be Phil? I don't know. The dog could have the same name as us. <laughs> Phil or Imagine, no. what if we named ourselves Maxwell and then that yeah, we'd have that awkward moment with the dog and the human the same name. Do you True. think this She has game... an egg on her. Yeah, I saw that. And a panda. <laughs> and three stars. Yeah. And an army shirt. That's actually... Uh, dogs are a lot cheaper than college. What's that? Not... It's a private swan. What's two? Um, corporal? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Do you not know again? You just vomited? Is that what the thing is? Amanda laughs. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. Speaking of college! <sighs> Amanda darts over to the envelopes, shuffles through them. She pulls out one and throws the rest on the floor. Good choice, by the way. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design! Open it. Oh, okay. If that's the case, cheers. But I'm scared. It's um, just an envelope. Hmm. It's just like, my entire future, no big deal. Hmm. Yeah, don't worry, you're going to art school. That future's already ruined. We have a letter opener, but okay. Hold my breath while Amanda eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it no, say? Wait, uh, you know what's been really freaking, been freaking me out recently? reviewed your application? My nipples have been itchy. Like, really itchy. Like... Do you weird. think that's, like, because you got a lot of hair on your chest? No, or? it's never been that way before. This is recently. Huh. Like, the past week. I've had itchy nipples. They've been sensitive and they've been itchy. Not so much sensitive, but, like, ticklish. 
So sensitive, I guess. That's kind of sensitive. Yeah, that's a thing. It's weird. Yeah. I scratch them like three times a day. More Maybe. Than, way more than three times. <laughs> Maybe you're uh, lactating. Is yeah, what it is. probably. You're, you're, maybe you're. You just have a hormonal imbalance. <laughs> if we were at my house. I would have dribbled all over myself. Like, <laughs> I think it would have totally been worth it. I would have just given you a different shirt. I didn't want to ruin. No, not my shirt. I didn't want to ruin the floor or anything. Oh, the floor is garbage. <laughs> well, then maybe I'll have to surprise you next time. Her it. face drops. What? Are we going to do a formula where we're unable to offer you admission into... Fuck off, McGowan. McGowan. Get the fuck out of here. College of Art and Design. Uh, throws a letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. Well, maybe it's not that good, huh? It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew we shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. The admissions office told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. Pull Amanda in for a big hug. But I really can't get my arms around her because my gut's so Yeah, big. I'm just, just too fat. My arms are too small. <laughs> He's like an Ava T-Rex, kind of. Ugh, what is wrong with me? <laughs> are you actually fine or are you just saying? It's the breakfast time. I'm is. fine. Really? Her face says the opposite. But probably shouldn't push her on this. Yeah, punch her in the mouth. Oh, Emma R and Emma P, so. Uh, we don't know which one either of them are, so. You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool. Uh, do you see how he <laughs> looks? He is, he is the opposite of painfully. Yeah. Quick, think of plans. I'm going clubbing. <laughs> the lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man. You know, all the one the kids are doing. Mm -hmm. Alright, but I'm not coming to pick you up if you pull anything this time. Not again. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... Go out and watch, watch the game. game. Nice. Mm. Which game? You know, the game... The one that's on tonight. The game on TV at somewhere other than here. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm going to do drugs and commit some light arson with the Emmas. Yeah, I'm about right. I'm concerned you're hanging out with the wrong crowd. <laughs> I would have expected you guys to be up to white-collar crime by this <laughs> point. Maybe money, money laundering. Money, 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 money launder. Mystery e. rat pops. Winky face. <clears throat> you're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? Yes, Dad. Just making sure. Have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? Ugh. No, making fun of sports is played out. All right then. Is Some light cleaner really? and I was decided to clear out before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Hey, you got a lot of unpacking done, to be honest. Yeah, we did, like did a couch, lot. There's a coffee table, there's a chair, there's a bookshelf with books in them. And yeah, things and a unicorn up. and a fucking unicorn. And then there's a platypus dildo. Platypus d dilduck. Oh, English what? teacher meeting tomorrow. No, that's the Mr. Vega. Oh, he's the one that looks like Count Dracula. Use your hips when throwing. Mm. 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 Ooh. Oh, I popped an ab. Oh. <clears throat> okay, we're, we're in. The, could be. A bar! All right! Yeah! A big burned out. Jim and Kim's. All right, cool. Jim and Kim. We're getting beat up for being gay. Uh, the bar is small and dimly lit. Oh, this is a dive bar. A crack of pool balls sounding in the back. The patrons laugh and joke. String of multicolored Christmas lights. Can't tell if, if he's Jim or Kim. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. What will be? One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. Nice cold beer with a capital B. I'm, I'm Neil. Neil. Well, all right. Oh, I awkwardly turned my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. What is your team of preference? The brightly colored mascot, which is some oh. kind of animal, does cartwheels. I silently cheer on my favorite team, hoping that I don't get into any confrontational arguments with the fan of an opposing team. Several people in the bar are we wearing the distinctive colors of the team I dislike, <laughs> Although I believe from their demeanor that, like me, the passion for their team is all in good fun. Uh. <clears throat> oh, hi. Middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty gl wine glass slides up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. Hey, sailor. Oh, hello. Uh. Good to see some fresh meat in here. I'm Mary. 
come here often? Oh no, I just moved to this part of town today. I'm Phil. By the way, do you know why they call me Filler Up? Are, are you watching the game? Yeah. My preferred team is in the lead. If they keep this up, they'll win the game. <laughs> this is so awkward. Hey. Oh, I love that team. I also love that game. I love someone who knows their way around balls. I feel like... Getting the impression she's a little drunk. Well, he does know his way around balls. What he do you know does. He, he absolutely... <laughs> That's something he knows. Um, uh, buy a gal drink. drink? You know what? Fuck it. Buy her a drink. Watch her get shit-faced. Buy her a drink. Tips to her glass. Suppose I gotta keep you company now. Aww. So, what do you want to know? What's the latest <clears throat> gossip? Let's get some gossip going. You came the right broad. Mm. <laughs> I'm an observer. I watch people. I and see ask, everything. Right, I know about everything. You. Nothing gets past gossip. me. So, so what? I thought you were gonna... Aww. I forgot what we were talking about. About the gossip. You said nothing to get past you. All right, I'm also a steel trap. Confidential to a fault. <laughs> All right, well. So what else can you tell me about this part of town? <clears throat> All right. That's for sure. You know? She looks like a serial killer. She takes a sip of her drink. A little too <laughs> ominous for my taste. She leans closer. Oh. Would you like to learn some of my secrets? Oh, boy. Uh, maybe some other time? Search yourself, sailor. Race. Saunters off, setting her sights on a new bar patron. What a cougar! I need to go to a bar Happily, watch the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in terms of points, a little too close than what I'm comfortable with. After a particularly skilled player scores a number of points for the other team, putting the team in the lead, I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Go team! Mm. There's a broody man from the coffee spoon. Oh, he sits alone, <laughs> sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. I don't like him. Enjoying the game? Oh, uh, we're talking to him now. I am, now that we're winning. Oh, we must be rooting for different teams. In my opinion, my team is far superior. I have to disagree with that. Based on our win-loss record, I'd say that my team is superior. That's where you're wrong. Since as it stands right now, my team is beating yours. You're also an idiot, and I hate you. <laughs> Of course, yeah. Of course my team wins. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> they raise a respectful glass at the man drinking whiskey. He raises his in response. An unspoken truce is formed between us based on mutual love for the game. He mentions to the bartender who pours two glasses of whiskey and the man slides one over to me. Name's Robert. I don't like him. Thanks. I'm Bill. Bill. Oh. You must be new here. Mary already hit on you? Yeah. Mm. Robert chuckles. She's a peach. Well, you picked the best bar in town. As slimy as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. <clears throat> is there actually a Jim? No. No, that'd be Neil. <laughs> Neil waves from across the pool. Hey. Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Oh. Okay. You a whiskey fella or a beer fella? Beer, but I'll drink most things. You like shots? I love shots. I love shots. Thank God. Robert nods to Neil, who serves up two shots of whiskey. He hands me one. Didn't we just have a glass of the whiskeys? <clears throat> yeah, but now we got shots. So now we have a glass of whiskey, a shot of whiskey, and a beer. Yeah. This is going to be a great night. Here's to your health. <clears throat> we take the shots. The whiskey burns going down, but it, I try my hardest Dude, not to Dude, you were hanging tough. your best friends with Keg Stan Craig. Keg Stan Craig. You're telling me. Bruh, Keg Stan Craig, you can't handle a shot of whiskey? Right? Bruh, wait. This is what making friends is? Okay, Phil. This guy's out of your friend league, but I think if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. Cool leather jacket, rugged hand good tattoo. looks. But the game said not to talk about hand tattoos. Did it really? In one of the things. Like, don't ask, don't ask weird things about people's strange hand tattoos. You're not asking, you're calling. I don't think we should talk about hand tattoos. Why right, don't you pick this one? Cool leather jacket or rugged good looks. You pick this one. I, I said my piece. 
This now is your thing. I, I'm, we're going to talk about his jacket because okay. it's cool. I like your jacket. Thanks. Been in the family a long time. Passed down from firstborn to firstborn. Cursed, some would say. Man, this guy's mysterious and cool. Way cooler than I am, at least. I mean, look at you compared to him. I mean, come on. Yeah, Howard Singer is the bartender for another round. Oh, Jesus. What are you doing here tonight? My daughter came out of the house. Not like forever. She's having a sleepover with her friends. Mm -hmm. Family type, huh? Single dad. Mmm. <laughs> he gets up. Be right back. Gotta powder my nose. What the? Fuck? Never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. Ha. Huh. I guess so. Gotta admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. If a guy like that thinks I'm cool, then I really must be. Who says powder is... Robert comes out in the bathroom and grabs his leather jacket. You wanna get out I'm of here. I'm gonna go home. You heading my way? I guess so. Finds... How early out. is it now? It's early, apparently. Walking in the same direction. Mm -hmm. I live in the cul-de-sac down the way. Does everybody live there? It would appear so. Me too. Just finished unpacking today. Hey. Great place to be. Good neighbors. Well, some of them. Who's that? We get to Robert's house. Which is just a few hours away from mine. We stop. He turns well, to kiss me. You. I don't kiss and tell, Phil. Uh. So we doing this or what? What the fuck? You know, do you want to come inside or not? What the fuck? <laughs> it's your time to choose. I don't even know. What the fuck happened here? He got us drunk and now he's trying to bang. We're not even drunk. We had multiple shots of whiskey, a, a whiskey, and multiple beers. We had one beer. Two beers. No, one. He said he had another beer while he watches the game. Okay, so two beers. Right. One glass of whiskey and one shot of whiskey. What kind of horse is this? This guy's 700 pounds. <laughs> okay, not... <laughs> Well, I don't see why not. It sounded smoother in my head. Let's do it! Follow him up to the door. He fumbles with his keys in a second. Ah, the door, leading me inside. I the moment the door closes behind us, he pushes me against the wall and kisses me, grabbing my hips. Oh, God. Come on! It's getting saucy! <laughs> Art takes my hand and leads me ah! up the stairs. What I assume is a bedroom, but it's so dark, can't see anything. But Robert's intense expression. I don't even like him. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta get. You, 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 you gotta bang sometimes. I mean, like, you know. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> don't get on the bill. I uh, I don't normally do this. Do you want to stop? This is your choice now. No. <laughs> oh, no. Good. <laughs> no, what's happening? <laughs> Let's have some fun. This beat is sick. I want to ride on your disco stick. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh, fucking A, dude. <sighs> nope. Uh. I'm not a fan. Wait a minute, is it my old house? My new house? Oh, right. I look around for Robert. Hello? There's chatter from the bathroom. The door opens. Robert fully grabs, grabs his keys. That was fun. Yeah, it was. You should go. That's certainly not what I was expecting. Well, uh, talk to you later. Mm -hmm. Robert cracks a smile. Sure. Your clothes are over there. Uh. I hastily get dressed and show myself out. The sun is unbearably bright. I need to lie down. Start my way start to make my way back home when I suddenly remember I'm in. <laughs> Rush back and I'm throwing the door open. Something smells delicious. Amanda? Mm -hmm. Amanda runs out of the kitchen and looks slightly disappointed. Yeah. Aw, oh, man, I was hoping you got kidnapped and I was gonna have to come rescue you. No, I, uh, made a friend at the bar last night. Ended up sleeping over at his place. Where are the Emmas? They left a little while ago. Oh, you guys have fun? Yeah, watched some movies, ate snacks, stole a car. You know, the usual sleepover stuff. You yeah. teens and your larceny. Yeah, I just... I just... Are, are you okay? Like, we we went into this knowing we're going to bang dudes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Didn't expect it to happen so quickly. 
<laughs> You're never ready for the first time you have to experience banging a dude. <laughs> well, there's hash browns and eggs and bacon. Can I? Ugh. Yes. I'm gonna have some breakfast. Bless you, sweet child. Head throbs. I gotta do something about this hangover. I had to. Your loving father might have ever done it last night. Ooh, somebody's hungover. Sharp man. Also a sore year. asshole. Yeah. Well, actually, I don't know if we're a top or a bottom. We're power bottom. Power bottom. Right. You have to be. Gotta be. One of the best positions. Yeah. I think so. Any position is one of the best positions, I guess. I guess. I mean, as long as you're getting it, right? Yeah. Pulls out a jar of pickles. Amanda, what? Drink this. It doesn't actually. It the doesn't. pickle juice? Yep. It's what I used once. I uh, would assume someone would use. I would also assume that it works pretty well. Mm. Although I've never tried it before. And won't try it, obviously. <laughs> Who raised you? Mm. You did? Great. Um, do as I say, not as I do. You got it. This better work. No, no, more than that. Way more than that. I mean, I assume. It's actually pretty... Pickle juice actually kind of works. It's like the salt, I guess, in it, and the vinegar. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But it kind of works. Ah. <laughs> Alright. This is, this is ridiculous. <laughs> you enter... We arrive at the <coughs> school and check in at the front desk. They give me a bright orange visitor sticker and send me on my way. I, I, I want to see if Mr. Vega is the one that looks like Vega from actual Street Fighter. Vega has the claw hand. Yeah, he also looks like a pedophile. <laughs> yeah. So Why would the teacher be the pedophile looking one? Come on. Barely awake and feeling pretty haggard. Because you're in a room full of 15 year old girls. And boys. And boys. Can't And anything in between. Or outside. Wait, what room was it? 103 or 108? Excuse me, do you know where Mr. Vegas' classroom is? <laughs> that looks like Mr. Vega. That's my dad? Sigh. Like, come on, kid. I'm late for a meeting. Come on, kid. We look almost exactly the Mr. same. Mr. <laughs> Who? Mr. Vega. I don't know. Have you tried the exit? I'm gonna put my hey, face guy, you can your fucking face. Sigh. Fine. Upstairs to the left. Can't miss him. Dickhead. Dickhead. Fuck high school people. Ugh. They're the worst. My door the... Or... Okay, yeah, whatever, the kid. Oh. Oh, that's Mr. Vega? Oh, we should probably uncover Mr. Vega's head. <laughs> He's fucking tall. Jesus Christ. Fine, we Mr. Vega. Maybe we should just put it right in the middle. <laughs> what? <laughs> you put it over here. Just wow. Down, just down lower. Cover his dick? Although we're covering our face. Oh. Put it over here. I guess that could work. There you go. Figuring it out. It's a, it's now a, I'm officially ten minutes late. Glare at him as he walks away. Shut up, kid. We're not cool. Hmm. You must be Phil. This period's almost over. Would you mind waiting in the back? Sure, fuck off. Sure, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, good. No, oh, huh? like this? <laughs> Solid work. Nailed it. Nailed it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. that's what's funny now. I mean. It's super funny. Totally not as funny as some of the things we fucking already did in this episode. <laughs> Far oh. elbows are... <laughs> My elbows aren't that good. <laughs> <laughs> Bell for the end of the period rings. All of the students immediately get up and break for the Whoa. door. Remember to do the reading. Answer the response questions on page 194 in your textbooks. Nobody says ah. Of course. Or not, I guess. Um, Middle schoolers, right? Don't you teach high schoolers? Mm -hmm. Both, you know. Budget cuts. Right. Oh. Mm. Thanks so much for coming in. 
No problem, Mr. Ah. Vega. Mm. Please call me Hugo. Rather not. Uh... There is impromptu teacher-parent meetings, but I'm sure you know Isn't Alan Mann is a very bright her? student. I'm concerned about her recent behavior. What's going on? Uh, Mena has never been the most engaged student, but I know she cares. Recently, though, she's been falling behind. She's not completing assignments and has been doing rather poorly on tests. I normally chalk this up to senioritis, but this is strange. I thought Amanda always shared everything with me. Ooh, it crossed my mind. Something. <laughs> everything okay at home? We just moved. She's fine. She has a tendency to bottle things. You say we just moved? We just moved. Well, we just moved recently. The only other side of town, man, is more excited about it than I was. Uh, the fuck up, Let's see if you can talk to her about it. I know she values a great oh. deal. We're appreciating I don't like you. Right. Uh, we don't like you, Hugo. 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 Juice. We don't like you, Juice. Your name is Juice now. Why the Juice? Because Hugo in Spanish is Juice. Is it? Not who? No, like a J. But it's like pronounced Hugo. I might be totally wrong. <laughs> I don't know. How do you say juice? Hold on, I gotta ask Siri. I don't. I can't use Siri. I'm not fucking answering that phone. Give it to me. I'll answer. No, I don't know who it is. It's from Virginia, dude. Yeah, obviously, it's, like, it's, 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 it's a bullshit. No, it's obviously someone very important. You could yeah. be your lost juice. Virginian cousin asking you for your social security number so he In can Spanish. send you, you know, money that you deserve. Hugo. That's Jugo. No, it's Jugo. Hugo. Siri doesn't know what she's talking about. Hugo. This is Google! It's not Siri! Hugo where? To bed. Ha <laughs> hmm. Where did that? Hugo. <laughs> Hugo there. Yeah, your name is Juice now, Hugo. Fuck off, Hugo. Make sure to talk to Amanda. Ah. Anytime, Juice. On my way out, thinking for a moment, I turned to Juice. Hey, Juice? Oh. Yes? You ever catch that ride? Hmm. Yes. Oh my goodness. Uh, juice. Ugh. I leave the crash classroom. Crass room. Make my way out of the school. I'm still a little bit of shock that man is able to hide so well from me. Is that a balloon? Uh, no. Fucking never mind. No, just leave it there. No, fucking dicks. Oh. Hopped in the passenger seat. Passenger seat. How you have fun, guys? Been about me. Now I cover her face. Jesus, there's no good spot. There is literally no good spot but for right this. in the middle. Right up the top in the middle. Right there. There we go. So far, so good. Hold on. Let me center it. Mr. Vega and I actually just gossiped about our, our celebrity crushes. Mr. Juice. Mario so Batali. About I love Mario Batali, dude. This is a very productive meeting. Yeah. Pretty hungry. Can we grab some dinner? Yeah. Sure thing. Um, she wants to grab dinner, so I'm assuming making it is out of the question. So let's go to the mall food court. Does it sound good to you? Mm. Yeah, sure. Why the mall? Jeez, can't I take his daughter to the mall? Will he buy me things? I will buy you a thing. Singular. Sounds like a deal to me. What she doesn't know, it's actually gonna be dinner that we buy. Yeah. We're not gonna buy anything else, because it's singular. That's, that's dad smart. Duh. Dad, dad smart. You know, <coughs> sometimes when a kid gets older, they finally have to keep things hidden from their parents. Are you gonna die on me in the middle of this like recording session? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Like, why do you have salt? Oh, it's uh, for Kate's altar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Makes sense, right? I just why is it Morton's salt? Why not? Because that's the best salt. Excuse me, pink Himalayan sea salt is the best salt. Let's get that fucking right right here right now. Let's just settle that score right here. Do you have a Twitter? I do. I don't ever go on it. At age underscore Wilson and at... I think it's I'm going platinum. I'm going platinum. <laughs> yeah, I like, knew that. Like how you know my Twitter handle better than I do. I'm going to put them up on the screen. Follow us on Twitter at at age underscore Wilson and I'm going platinum. That was a good segue. Into it's that. great. Fucking sell out. Here's my bag. This is my sellout bag. Why are, you, why are you trying to sell out? Sellout bag. I thought you broke it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Never mind. Also, follow us on Instagram. Oh, he has an Instagram. Oh, you don't? I do not have an Instagram. Oh. 
Then follow me on Instagram. Fuck him. Follow him on Instagram at Adam James Franco. Adam James Franco. It's really simple. I put the link right. I think it's just this. an at, yeah. Oh. Also, follow me at my house. At <laughs> 20. <laughs> Don't tell me your address, please. I'll have to bleep it, and that'll just be annoying. <laughs> I thought you liked Mr. Vegas class. Huh. It's fine. He's fine. Pull up the stoplight, and I eye Amanda. She's still texting. Just. I want you to know you can talk to me about anything. Uh huh. You can tell that whatever it is, she doesn't want me knowing about it, and it's frustrating. Blah, 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 blah. Yep. <laughs> she stifles a laugh. Ha. It's so funny. <laughs> uh, it's a. Uh, I don't think you'll get it. Okay. Dot ellipses. Who's that? Sam. Which one? Superhuman Sam? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I, I feel like that's the only way I know her. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Who Wait. are you texting? Oh, we're texting Sam. It's okay. Oh, oh she hasn't got a boy. Noah. Ooh. Noah. She likes a boy. She likes a boy. Oh, it's a friend. It's yeah. a friend. Does he go to your school? Yeah. yeah. Do, Do you like Noah? Noah? What? what? Oh, it's a yes. No. That is a yes. Dad. Only Bro. Been... Dad, I've been straight hooking up with him for the past three weeks. Duh. Only been hitting that dick every single Bro, time I can. It was like you and Robert last night. Oh. Emma hey, R and Emma I didn't watch movies. We spied on you. Uh, Emma R and Emma P watched oh. me do him. Obviously, we were gross. Photography, S photographer, not pornography. Pornographer. Oh. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> mm. huh? Amanda, chill. We're fu you fucking. We get the guys and girls can be friends. Can I? I think Apparently. Can. Always carry a pocket knife. I thought these tips aren't tips that help us the game at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. They told me not to talk about hand tattoos. I feel like you're lying about that, to be honest. I'll go back in the fucking... <laughs> Eat something disgusting for dinner. Hell yeah. Okay, don't curse. Language. It's exactly. Bitch. What, you Captain America now? Should I put the fucking shield on him? Fucking mm -hmm. bitch. Heck yeah? Ew, let's grow. Heck in heck! No, actually heck. curse. Actually swear, please. Mm. We approach the food court and evaluate our opinions. There's a greasy restaurant after greasy restaurant. My heart burns just looking at the menus. Nobody looks happy to be here. It's like Cinnabon. Bread dipped in sugar, bread with cheese on it, or you want me to inject some fat directly into your bloodstream? Both. All of them. Would you like to do me the honor of sharing some nachos? She takes my hand with a grin. I, it would make me the happiest, cheesiest girl alive. Giant plate, pile of chips, and unnaturally orange cheese from a very unenthusiastic and possibly stoned teenager. Take a seat at a rickety table and dig in. These are bad. These are very bad. But also strangely delicious? We have to eat through the pain. I kind of like craving nachos now. Should get some nachos. Huh. Have you had the nachos fries from? No, I haven't. Are we going to Taco Bell after we're done? That might be an adventure. All right. I have not had them either. I we got to try them. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I think of nacho fries. Can you explain <laughs> maymays to me? Girl, get ready. They gonna meet me your ass to death, bitch. <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going home. My second thought. Look at his face. He's just like, tell me about the maymays. Tell me about the maymays. Keep on going. Oh, God, what happened? Sigh. Which may may? Oh, all, all the, the may -mays. May -mays. 
Ow, my throat. Ow, my back and my head. <laughs> Too much hurts right now. Please are in their heads. Dad, it's complicated. See, memes are inside jokes shared by a bunch of people that get less funny the more people do it. So the problem is that by the time a meme gets to you, Dab, all the youths have already done the joke to death. Wow. What's worse is that the movies and TVs and video games will try to pump in, jump into a meme, onto a meme train. Train, I can't even fucking read. Yeah, but based on just how long it takes to make them, the meme will be long dead by the time it comes out. So it just dates it and isn't funny. Oh shit, what up? Aww. Please. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, changing the subject. Where to now? Want to go to that goth store? What? That sounds about right. You know, the one that's all black and tries to establish itself as anti-establishment despite being the exact representation of the establishment. I I don't know what you're talking about. Hot topic. You know, the one where you can buy chain wallets and basically an assault. Uh, <clears throat> Dude, you gotta be more specific. The one you threw up in that one time. Oh, that one. Nice! Look at this fucking store. I would shop at this store. Is it Spencer's? Hot Topic? Which one? Uh, I don't see any dildos, so I think it's Hot Topic. You are right. Did I tell you that I still have to buy one of my lesbian best friends either a double-sided dildo or a strap-on dick? It's a Valentine's Day gift that I had to get her for a long time ago. She owes me a pocket pussy. That was the deal. I get her one thing she gives me the other okay that seems like a fair trade i don't know have you ever heard of the womanizer like the movie no like the sex toy the sex robot. toy no it's toy no, it's like what is it is it's just like a, it's is crazy silicon butt no 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 it's it's for females it's a oh it's, it's crazy uh um, i just went to adam and eve because they gave me a 25 percent off coupon i got a dildo that curves up into the female uh, that's performing the thrusting and then curves out into a normal, you know, erectile. I don't need a review. I just need the, the womanizer. Function. Go to images. The womanizer. We're going right to Amazon, baby. I still got a buyer of that. This one's a stupid expensive, but apparently it's fucking amazing. I wouldn't know. I'm not a girl, but apparently it's fucking amazing. Mm. Mm -hmm. My Google searches are going to be terrible for this. <sighs> My Amazon recommendation goes from double-sided dildos to, like, <laughs> bluegrass. <laughs> Don't ask me. All right, if my phone will load... The womanizer. I mean, well, I'll show you what it is. Well, there it is. You can still see the outline, kinda. I'm so proud. Speech. Speck. Speck. What? Speech has an A in it. Oh. The womanizer. What is it? A vibrating, like. Okay, that's the. What the fuck? It looks like a breathalyzer. It has a fucking jewel on it. Yeah, I'm not buying her. I'm actually gonna text that right now. Look, look at it. It's like you just like kind of like. Yeah, I know exactly. I, I understand how that works now. And look at all the things it comes with, like a bag, and it's like discreet. And it's only a hundred and fifty-eight dollars with free shipping via Amazon Prime. Guys, did you know that you can link your Twitch Prime, your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, and you can sub to one of your favorite streamers for free every month? Twitch.tv slash the game guild. Thanks. Yeah! Do that. All right, I'll do it if you stop chanting. Stops immediately. I clear my throat. Thank you for all joining here today to commemorate the historic moment that would forever shape history on a day very much like today, five years ago, our very own Amanda Ann. Err. Err. Had too much blue raspberry slushy uh, on an outing to the mall after begging her father to take her to the dead goth and beyond. Dead goth and beyond. To buy a rainbow suspender, she projectile vomited all over the display of My Chemical Romance merchandise. Her loving father then had to pay for, for all, said all said merchandise. And to this day, remembers. Among her possessions. Thank you. Hmm. Matt has moved. 
She begins clapping. Wow. Hey. Chain wallets. Let's get that. You know what? Peru's banshee shirts. Look ironic, at ironic mugs. Ironic mugs. Come on, let's be real. Yeah. <laughs> There's only one number one dad and so many mugs here. I can say that. Time. I thought I bought the only one. If I'm not number one, where do I place on the global dad I, ranking chart? Honestly, you gotta, I think he's like number one dad. Except for going out, getting drunk, and hooking up with some badass biker. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't, uh, he didn't take the lady though, because he's super gay. And so she was super drunk. She was super drunk. Look at this. Look, this is very important to me. Oh, oh there, he is. there he is! That's the guy who's gonna like suck your blood in the middle of the night. Well, yeah, not your, not your penis. Oh man, not your penis. He's a vampire. Brother. However, I don't like hear him. a stifled argument over like the cash register. Older gentleman carrying a garment and showing bored looking. I can see that. Don't know what to tell you, dude. I just work here. Oh my! Listen, bought it online at the website, and it says the boss was Victorian inspired. However. When I received it, it clearly held the trademark of Edwardian de dressage. I don't like him. Do you want a coupon? <laughs> <laughs> Is there? A <laughs> That's the perfect response. I don't know what to tell you. Do you want a coupon, dude? <laughs> like... Is there a manager present? People have to know what they're, they're buying. buying. I am the manager. <laughs> Did I it? see. Well, it would seem that I have outstayed my welcome. Good day, shopkeep. Your supervisor will receive a strongly worded letter by post. Whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. I don't like him. His literal coat tails tra trailing behind him. I can't tell if we're Victor if they were Victorian inspired or Edwardian in nature. <laughs> oh boy, here oh. it comes. Hey! Dadtron 5000! Yes! I'll buy it for you. Wow, that was easy. Thanks. At least it's only one this time. Pops the shirt down on the counter and grins the cashier. I love your hair. Cashier says nothing and rings Amanda up. Radiating hatred. I hand her a 20. So, what's this guy's deal? Cashier rolls his eyes so hard it and work. She'll pull something. That's Damien. He's in here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. See, he likes to suck blood. She hands Amanda her bag, and it's clear the conversation's over. We make our way out of the store and head home to get some rest. Amanda and I sit on the couch trying to find something to watch over bowls of ice cream. Oh, cool. Long Haul Paranormal Ice Road Ghost Truckers is on. <laughs> That's a show now. Is that a legit show? No, but oh. it is in this game. Oh, hell yes. To make over to Canadian Tundra before the ice road melts and they're haunted by ghosts. Also, the trek is haunted. This is an episode I've already seen, but one of the best. Callum and Flint Dogbone, their twin brother truck driving yeah. and ghost hey. hunting duo, find themselves in the greatest peril yet. Oh no, the ghost... The ghosts done got control of the truck. I can't steer them on the... Oh, wait, oh, wait. On hold, them. hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, no, the ghost done got control of the truck. I can't steer them on damn ice roads. <laughs> sure. Well, I mean, you're an EVP man and try to communicate with spirits. Flit, we're about to die. <laughs> Ah, almost got it. You just can't believe that I can say you're gonna die. Mm. Die because we're about to die. Yeah. This is art. I gave me a headache. <laughs> this episode ends in a man that excuses herself to go start arguments, arguments on, on the, the internet. internet. Oh, one of those. I stay up a little longer, curious about the exploits of Callum and Flint Dog Bone <laughs> after their disastrous ice road accident. Afterwards, I crawl into bed and get a good night's sleep. Oh, wow, that was beautiful. Solo from Kid Charlemagne. Fuck! And I'm so angry I missed that. Reading. Now that we're asleep, we're asleep. We're gonna wrap up this episode of Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator, because we're asleep. 
Don't. I'm gonna stretch. Stop. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm is that right. arm bigger than this arm? Do you have that issue where like one arm is bigger than the other one? I don't know. Let's see. Move over a little bit. I think bicep wise, they're roughly the same, right? Yeah, they're, they're pretty. This pretty trap, big. I think this bicep is bigger, but this trap is definitely bigger than this trap. So like, you would see, you can see it come up there a little bit, but it doesn't pop up as much over here. This lat though is bigger than this lat. Weird. Muscles are weird. But, thank you guys for watching this episode of Dream Daddy and Dad Dating Simulator. I mean, psychological horror game. Because that's what we're going with. This is we appreciate your patronage. We appreciate you guys hanging out. I mean, out your viewership. And watching this. Hopefully you guys are enjoying our zany antics. Mm, and, yeah. and dad stuff. Yeah, so uh, please join us next time as we gargle apple cider vinegar. That sounds horrible. Bye.